As a wheat farmer, one of the worst things you can possibly get in your crop is fusarium head blight, commonly known as head scab. It's one of those diseases that comes right at the tail end of the season, and that's what makes it frustrating to me. We've already put all the input into the crop, we've yep. done everything to make things successful, and all of a sudden here comes an opportunistic disease that's going to rob our yield and decrease our quality. Well, what makes it the most frustrating for me is the fact that we don't know if it's coming. I mean, we've got a wheat crop right now, it looks pretty good, and I honestly do not know if I'm going to get head scab or not. So should we treat? Well, here's the thing. If you're going to protect yourself against head scab, you can't wait till you see it and try to kill it because it just doesn't work. We don't have good enough products on the market that can wipe out a disease once it's started. So you do have to get that fungicide out well, there ahead of time. It's not just to wipe the disease out. We probably could stop the disease. It's just that it's already done so much damage in the plant, we can't recover that lost yield. Well, I guess you can look at it a number of different ways. The thing that frustrates me too about head scab is it's late in the season that head is out before you can protect it. So you've got this narrow window to get protection done that we should talk about a little bit more here. And then okay. the products that you can use are, are narrowed down. There are all these fungicides available, but we can only use just a handful of them to have any impact on head scab. Okay, let's start by talking about what's the right timing if you wanted to spray a fungicide and treat fusarium head blight. If you wanna do this, the head has to be out and you would like to see just a few flowers on there. So a lot of the fungicide companies will say 15% flowering. You wanna see some of those flowers on that head. Like Darren said, it's a very narrow window that we're talking about here. You're not gonna hit the exact timing just right for every single plant. But the key is not thinking that early season fungicide that you spray, or even for that matter, fungicide you would spray at flag leaf timing is going to give you a lot of help on head scab. You've got to spray once the head comes out. Well, when it comes to timing, this is what gets to be a challenge, especially because you don't have just one acre of wheat where you could be out there looking and saying, wow, here's the perfect time, I'm gonna go out today. No, you may have a thousand acres of wheat or 10,000 acres of wheat, and you say, wow, all of it's coming ready about the same time, but I can't get started too early, otherwise I won't have very good protection. So you've gotta be able to get things done quickly. As a wheat farmer, it's one of those things where you really do need to have a good sprayer so you can get a lot of acres done in the same day. You also need to have a good rig to feed that sprayer with water and product and everything else. So if your crop is getting close to the timing where you're gonna be spraying for head scab, you need to have that product on hand so you can move at a moment's notice and get out there quickly once your wheat does get to the right timing. Okay, let's talk about that sprayer just a little bit. There is a lot of debate about what type of spray nozzle you need to use. We would suggest one of two things. Either go out there with a flat fan spray nozzle running fairly high pressure and lots of water, or you can run a twin fan nozzle where you're shooting at an angle both front and back to hopefully cover that head just a little bit better. Now in most cases, I would suggest the flat fan nozzle early in the season or even at flag leaf, but that twin fan nozzle, in our opinion, probably works the best at the head scab timing. Well, really the purpose of that twin fan is it sprays some of the spray forward and some backward. So you're gonna coat up the back side of that head and then as you pass by, it's gonna coat the front side of the head. So you get really good coverage across something that's standing vertically, and that's a real challenge to do with the sprayer. Okay, let's talk about products a little bit. The most important thing you need to know about products is this. Absolutely do not use a strobel urine. You can't use Headline, you can't use Quadris, you can't use Aveto or any product that contains any of those three or any other strobel urine product. What we've seen in research is just that when you use a strobel urine product around the heading timing, you could end up with higher Don levels or higher toxin levels in your wheat and that's a bad thing. So avoid the strobel urine products. Now, what you're gonna wanna use then is a triazole product and we've got a variety of different triazoles that we can use from expensive to inexpensive, from effective to moderately effective, so let's talk about those. Well, probably the least effective uh, of the ones that has been used over the years has been propiconazole, also known as tilt or bumper. It has a very, very small amount of protection against head scab. So what used to happen is people would switch up to Folicure, which was kind of expensive, and it did an okay job. It wasn't great, but it was lots better than what propiconazole was. Well, the problem with Folicure is it's not great. So we were looking for something better, and now well, there are a couple products that are better. Okay, but let's talk about the propiconazole and the Folicure and cost per acre now. If you're gonna go with full rate of propiconazole, something like Tilt, Bumper, 
Propamax, you're gonna spend around $5 an acre. Well, the full rate, the full four ounce rate of Folicure is going to be less than $3 an acre now. It's unbelievable how inexpensive that has gotten. Well, so here it less is, than it's, three bucks it's an acre. finally priced to value. It used to be really expensive. It would be 10 or even well, 15 I bucks. I, I don't know about this price to value thing. I mean, I'm quite confident it's gonna bring you more than $2.75 worth of value. It's great on rust. It's pretty good on head scab. Sure, it's not going to be as good as some of the other new products, but it's pretty good on head scab and great on rust. I mean, in most cases, you're gonna gain several bushels per acre from a less than $3 per acre investment. So if you say, well, I'm not used to spraying for head scab, I, I generally don't have a major problem. I got a little, but it's no big deal. Then that's where I'd use the folic here. Okay, because it's so inexpensive. Now let's talk about the better options. Okay, well, from the same company that makes Folicure, which would be Bayer, they have another product called Proline, which was even better on head scab, but there were a few diseases that Proline wasn't quite as good on as Folicure. Also a little and, weak on the rust. And when they, when they mix Folicure and Proline together, they have a good head scab product, plus they have a great rust product as well. So if you use Persaro, that's Proline plus Folicure, and it does an excellent job on head scab prevention. Well, the other one is Caramba, that's from BASF. That's a product all by itself, it's a triazol, and it does seem to be very good on head scab and pretty good on rust. So you've got those two good options, the Caramba and the Presaro, but the problem is you're gonna end up spending somewhere in the 13 to $16 per acre range, so it's going to be considerably more expensive than Folicure. Like we said though, both Caramba and Presaro should be better on head scab, so if you're really worried about head scab, you say, boy, I've had some disasters from that, then I'd, I'd lean towards those more expensive products. If head scab is not much of a concern, then I would probably go with the Folicure since it's so much cheaper. Well, here's the reason that I said price to value, Brian, because you look at it and one of those more expensive options, the Persaro or Caramba, is about two or three bushels of wheat more expensive than what putting Folicure is. And if you've got some head scab out there, I think you're gonna pick that two to three bushels sure. up pretty quick, switching to one of those more expensive options. So if your crop looks really good and you know you've got a pretty good chance of getting some head scab out there, spend the money, it's gonna be well worth it. Well, once again, with Fusarium head blight, commonly known as head scab, it can be a major issue across lots of wheat acres every year. We fortunately have some very good options. The key is to spray your Folicure or your Presaro or Caramba at the right time when the head is out and it's just starting to flower. If you do all that, hopefully you'll have great control this year on your farm. Getting head scab under control is important, but also weed control is very important on your farm. Can you identify this week's Weed of the Week? 